When you watch an action movie, did you ever think about the role science played in making the movie? Chemistry is involved in my job every day. Bachtin Bushel is a special effects project manager for j and Special Effects in Brooklyn, New York. See, it turns crimson right away. He uses changes in the properties of matter to create dramatic special effects. So when I add this, like fake snow, fog, and even explosions. What we take is things that are available for use in industry, and we convert them into other uses. When a scene calls for a snowball fight, Bushel has to make snow that looks like the real thing, but doesn't melt quickly under the hot stage lights. And you could hold this for a really long time. He uses what's called a synthetic polymer, which is a large molecule that is made in a chemistry lab with many chains of smaller compounds. Somebody discovered this lovely monoacrylic acid, and it is extremely hydrophilic, meaning that it loves water. Do you see what's happening as Bushel pours water into a bowl of polymer powder? The polymer changes into a white substance that looks a lot like snow. It glitters like snow, but it doesn't melt like snow. I can take that and I can make a little snowball out of it, and yet it will not melt in my hand, and the actor can have that for quite a long time. The ingredients that make up the polymer are still the same. They just look different. That's a great example of something called a physical change. When the water evaporates, the fake snow turns back into a powder, and Bushel can use it again. Bushel also uses a physical change to create another common special effect, fog. There are so many ways of making fog, but one of the easiest ways to make fog is a temperature difference, which causes the water to precipitate out of the air. For example, he can use liquid nitrogen, a very cold liquid that becomes a gas quickly at room temperature. At first, this nitrogen gas is still cold, and that causes the water vapor in the air to form droplets. And there you have it, fog. I push this button, and it warms up the coil. Bushel can also make fog using a fog machine and the chemical compound glycerin. We boil glycerin compounds, or we use teeny tiny bubbles to break down the surface tension of oils or glycerins and expel them into the air so that they float there. Well, fake snow and fake fog are interesting, but what about everyone's favorite? Explosions. So explosions are one of the more interesting forms of chemistry. It's fast burning. That's what an explosion is. If Bushel needs to make an explosion happen, there's a different kind of change in matter at work called a chemical change. When Bushel creates an explosion, he's creating a chemical change by combining oxygen and heat with a chemical that acts as fuel. Three, two, one. Because the oxygen and the fuel are next to each other, as long as they're hot, they're going to continue to oxidize very rapidly. So there's no backwards on that chemical reaction. But it is important to remember that Bushel is a professional and that special effects like explosions are more dangerous than they appear. So don't try this yourself. Special effects are fun, special effects are dangerous. That combination is what makes it entertaining. And the way to know what you're doing is to consult with people, books, processes that are already established. Here's something for you to try, and don't worry, it should be fun. Watch an action movie and make a list of all the scenes where you think science might be involved.